Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with some more marriage talks, you guys. For you guys. I've done two videos so far on this topic. This marriage is a very provocative topic. And I've done two videos on it. I talked about with the marriage ring or what the wedding ring. The person's called a wedding ring. Did a video on that as well. So go check that video out. I also talked about how you prepare for marriage in a video so check those videos out but this video this particular video is going to be about what we do when we actually get married okay everyone's gone home we prepared we have this ceremony everyone's gone it's just you and this new person what do you do what do you do after you've said i do four things that I think you should do after everyone's gone home and you are now in a new covenant a new relationship for life four things the first thing is you want to keep God the center of your marriage so many persons think this is a cliche but it's not it's really not I mean it's not I think I think it's a number one I have it I have this as this as the number one thing you should do after you get married. Even before, but really after you get married, because it's scriptural. It's everywhere in our faces. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And everything you want to see happen in your marriage is going to happen. Now that's not what the scripture said. Like I put that in there, but the scripture says see God first. And in everything you do, you have to see God. So if you get married, you still have to see God. You don't get married and stop seeking God. When you get married, you have to see God even more. Because you have this new person in your life that is going to do some things, ruffle some feathers, and you know, you only are gonna get through it if you have God in the center of your marriage. God has to be there. Because when you're wrong and he's wrong, nobody wants to give in their right. Then you ask the old age question and say, what would Jesus do? What would God do? Okay, now what does the scripture says? So you have to put God first. And persons can tell you, they can tell you if God is not there, there, I'm not saying that if God is there, that you're not going to go through trials and tribulations because God didn't promise us that. God said we will experience those things. But when he is there... He is going to keep us from getting that divorce, keep us from leaving, separating, keep us from killing that person. You know, he is going to keep us. So, yeah. And how do you keep God in your marriage? You pray. You find time and you pray together. You find time and you meditate upon God together. You find time and you read God's word together. You find time and you study God's word together you fast together that's how you keep god in your marriage yeah that's how you do first thing you gotta do while you're gonna get married don't forget don't forget god don't ever forget the person that gave you what you asked for first things first the man above the second thing you want to continue doing while you are married is to continue dating that person Please treat that person as if you guys are still dating. I think if we if we act as if we're dating while we're married, we'll be good. Because the dating is so sweet. The dating process, the courtship is so sweet. But then when we actually get married, we stop dating. Why do we stop doing the things that we did to get the person? We stop doing that. Why, why do we do that? Why, why do humans do that? If you took me to Pizza Hut every Tuesday... And I like that. Before we got married. Why are you going to stop taking me? Not a bit, not a bit married. I'm not saying don't take me every week or whatever. You know, but why, why stop? If, that, if that's what I liked. If we went on walks in the park. Courting, talking about our future. While we were dating. Why are we going to stop that when we get married? You know, if you wore nice lingerie for your husband. 
you know, scratch that. You shouldn't be wearing lingerie for, for, for him while you're dating. <laughs> but if you, if you used to wear, let's say you're, you're used to wear a nice lingerie for him, all of a sudden you just stop. But he liked that. You know, what's, what, what's, what's going on there? You, you can't stop the things that persons like. So the dating part of it, you must continue dating. Go back, go, go to the places you used to go to when you were dating. Those were the places, those were the conversations, those were the activities that caused you to like that person, caused you to want to be with them. So number two, don't stop dating. Go on dates, set times. Of course, we have this new covenant where we can't date or spend lots of money when we just started you know because when you just have my guests just get married you don't want to be spending lots of money especially after a wedding but you can't go on dates that are free you know you can go on dates where you don't spend a lot of money but don't ever stop dating the person that you married don't don't do that don't sit at home all day watching tv playing video games don't don't do that don't go keep going with your friends and leaving your spouse at home. Don't do that. Spend time with your spouse. Number three, dress. And in spending time with your spouse and dating, you have to also find some alone time. Even in a marriage, you still can't be so caught up where you lose yourself. When you think it's just, oh, every time I gotta go out with my husband, I have to go out with my wife. I can't leave my husband alone. I can't leave my wife alone. No, no, don't think like that. No, are you attached to the hip? Are you, you? You can't forget yourself. You can't. You are, you are, you are an individual before you are anything else. If you die, and your husband live, they're not going to put both of you guys in the casket because you are still alive. That person is dead. So you are an individual first. Don't forget the things that you like to do. If you like to go in, in the hot tub and soak, find time for yourself. Find time to love yourself. Find time to do things that make you happy as well. Even though it's, it's gonna be a lot because you also have this person that you can't neglect, but. Do not think neglect yourself. Neglecting yourself is neglecting him. Because if you are not okay, then he will not be okay. Because whatever's going on with you is going to happen to him. Don't forget you guys are one. Okay? I said that in the video before. So whatever's happening with you would happen to him. Whatever's happening with him would happen to her. So make sure that you are well. Make sure that you continue to do the things that, that will make you well. Because mental health is definitely a thing. Persons don't believe in it, but it's a thing. And if you cater so much to, what, to, to, to a person and cater so much to your children and you neglect yourself, then you're going to feel depressed. You're going to be like, I don't want to be this anymore. I, don't have, I can't do this. I'm always this person. Don't neglect yourself. Find some alone time. Find some time. Which, what can you do alone? You can read alone. You can watch TV alone. You can go on dates alone. You know, but find time for yourself activities that's going to make you happy guys because even in a marriage you are still although you are with someone you are still one single person and that needs to be happy and you only you know what makes you happy i i love to travel i love to write i love to read books i love to shop i love to play certain games and those are things that make me happy so I can't stop traveling because I met a, a husband that doesn't like to travel I can't stop now I'll have to probably ease up but I can't stop doing that that is what made me happy that is not what that, that's not that's not what made him happy but that's what made me happy so you have to realize that even though you're with somebody else you cannot forget the things that make you happy not because you marry someone means that those things you love to do will end. You will always love to do those things because that's just you. No one said that you have to have the same hobbies as your husband or your wife. But don't forget to love yourself. 
and the fourth one which is very important this is going to keep you guys together and loving each other and self-improvement you have to help each other fulfill one another's goals okay like i said because you're individuals you all have different goals now you should have some goals that are are the same in terms of your life but you're still individuals and you, you have individual goals so if you know that your husband or your wife wants to get a degree and they say okay i'm gonna go to college i want to go to training training school to get the degree then you need to assist if you have kids be like okay i'll watch the kids so that you can study and have some alone time and do your assignments you know oh you falling short on the tuition okay i got it okay are oh, you don't understand what's going on let me see if i can help you understand it okay so you want to make sure that you are helping each other out the whole thing about marriage is that it's a work in progress you're not we're not going to get it the first go around we might get it first go around and then something else comes our way and then be like poof what about this marriage is definitely something that you have to continuously work on and in working on your marriage you have to work on yourself you can't work on the idea of marriage you are the marriage you are the persons in the marriage so working on each other is working on your marriage when you see when someone when you when your spouse see that you care about your goals they're gonna feel happy about that they're gonna be like oh you really happy that i'm doing this well i'm gonna do something else you know i'm gonna make you proud that's how we feel that's how i feel i think that's how most persons feel if someone if you know you're doing something that someone like you're going to continue doing and you find something else to make them feel happy again make yourself feel happy so you have to continue help each other out you know don't don't be just being it for what can i get what can i get from this person that's not what a marriage is a marriage is not about getting a marriage is about giving even the bible says it is better to give than to receive so please don't go into marriage with your hands always out okay you want to make sure that you are helping your spouse as well all right, help, the, help your spouse to become a better spouse. If you're not helping them to become a better person, then that marriage is gonna crumble. The person's gonna get tired. But if you're constantly helping someone to become better, then you know, you, you're gonna, you gonna wanna continue doing what you're doing. So those are the four things, guys, that, that you want. I think it's very, very important. I think it's essential, especially number one, keeping God first, which is the first one. You wanna keep God in your marriage at all times. When you're going through trouble times and when you're not, he's supposed to be there at all times. That's the first thing. Don't stop dating. Continue continuously date your spouse. Continuously love on them. Continuously be romantic and, and go on dates and walks in the park and movies and you know quiet time together and trips. Find some alone time for yourself. Even though you're married, you're still one person and you need to be alone at times. Not all the time, but at times you should have sometimes where you just listen to yourself and you're in your little prayer closet and you know having your alone time with, with god and with yourself that's it that's essential and finally keep helping each other to become better persons so help your spouse to work on his goals and he'll help you work on your goals and these are these are my tips guys i'm no expert guys i'm just telling you what i think you know and I, i'm telling you what's working for me and what will continue to work for me but i think these tips can work for you guys as well and if you have any other tips that you can help us with us marriage folks in this marriage talk series please leave those in the comment section so persons can see them okay most persons use the comment section for negativity but i don't because i will quickly delete and block you off of my channel if at any chance i so happen to smell a negative comment so we want positive positive vibes only this way guys leave those comments in the use those leave those those tips and what we can do while we're married in the comment section if you have questions for me as well leave them in the comment section i will try my best to answer those questions as best as i can with the little knowledge that i have in the few months i've been married well it's not a few months now almost a year but yeah in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys subscribe 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 we're trying to go to 2,000 subscribers i'm trying to climb help me climb that ladder of success to 2,000 subscribers yeah and make sure you like this video and share but that's it for the video guys 
and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go until I tell you to keep striving, keep believing, believe in yourself because I believe in you. And if you are still here on this planet, it means that God is not done with you yet. So keep focused, fulfill your dreams. I love you guys and God bless you.